Hi everyone, welcome to Harsha Trainings. Myself Harsha, I am a Pega trainer at Harsha Trainings. And welcome to the series of videos that we are making on 33 technical terms that one should be aware of if you want to get into a software job. So in the last videos, we have explained so many technical terms that we regularly use in our day-to-day -day, uh, life in a software project. And in the last video, I have explained about defect, bug fixing, defect management tools, what is unit testing, what is test case, what is test case review, what is peer review. So up to this we have discussed. If you are a new user to this particular volume of videos, before this video, there are four videos that we have posted. You can go and watch those videos as well in order to understand all these technical terms that we use in our projects. Okay. And now we are going to look at understanding about the remaining technical terms that we have from 27 to 34 like staging, code retrofit, release management and implementation plan and deployments, developer job versus production support job, service now tool, tickets and finally I thought of adding one more thing called log files. Okay, So everyone must be aware of all these things when you are working in a software company and here you go now. See, the technical term that we are going to look at now is called staging. In the last video, I was explaining about, see, the development once you have done, the code will be moved from development to QA environment. From QA, it will move to UAT. UAT after it will go to production environment. When the code is been moving, in between if you have any issues being identified, there will be defects that are going to be raised. After all the defects are being tested, successfully everything is fine then code finally will go to production server and now we are going to talk about staging staging means see here we have already explained about the code will the code that you have created that you have developed in development environment will be moved from development to QA so then how it will be moved see the entire code that you have written for example if you are a Java developer so the Java code files will be there all these code files will be made as one zip, one zip file and the zip file will be placed in one of the shared folder. Usually it is not the one. Usually in a shared folder in your office, whatever that company that you have joined, there will be a shared folder for which you, you will be given with access. So in the shared folder, the code zip file will be placed. So now this particular folder path where you have all the code files zipped and placed will be also accessible to some other teams. Whoever has access to this path, they will be able to access. So this particular area is called as staging place. It is called as staging place. So staging place means the folder path where you are going to place the code files zip together into one single zip file. This is called as staging. And the next one is code retrofit. Okay, so this is another important term. I would have explained this little before, but still. See, sometimes there are there is a need in the development environment where two or more developers have to work on the same uh, code files or in case of Pega, we call it a same rule. See, then if you are going to develop on same rule or same code file, you need to take the branch of the file. I will tell you an example of what is meant by branch. Okay, branch means, see, for example, if you have one file, okay, let's go with somewhere, this file. If two people at a time, if they wanted to work on this file, what is the way? See, both of them at a time, they cannot open and work on it. I will tell you one simple approach. Copy this file to copy this file and paste it the pasted file is going to have a different name than the original. Let's say the pasted file is steps to install pega 8 v1 and one more time you copy this file and paste it steps to install pega 8 v2. Now the original file is there and two copy files are there. Person 1 can make the changes on v1 of this file and person 2 can make the changes of v2. Now both of them they don't need to wait for each other. See, if it is a single file that they have to access and update, 
on one single file only after one person completes his updates second person will be able to work on it so here the second developer have to wait on it so that's the problem waiting time is there instead of waiting if i copy this if i make two more copies of the same file then two of them work on each copy so after both of them work on each copy see copy one whatever the change is done that can be merged with this particular one and copy two changes can be merged with the next one like uh, the merge of copy one and merge uh, copy two can be merged into the resultant file so this is called retrofit process this is called as retrofit process okay so i will explain you now by using uh, paint and all okay see there is a file so this file contains data let's say a b c this is the data that is present in the file okay now there is a person person one see person one wanted to update this file okay and another person is there person two person two also wants to update the same file see at a time both of them cannot update one single file only one person at a time can access person one will person one will open the file and modify it till person one modifies this particular file person two has to wait only after person one completes modification person two should take the file and open it so this is what exactly has to happen but here there is a problem so what is the problem here so the problem here is the person one and person two when 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 person one is updating till person one finishes the update person two has to wait that is the problem so for suppose to make the modifications by person one and two each person if it takes one hour overall it takes two hour for person one will modify the file by one hour and after that person two will get access and modify it so now person two has to wait till person one finishes instead of this we will make a copy of this file let's say this file name is f1 this file name is f1 okay so when this file name is f1 i'll make a copy of this file so there is a copy of this file so the copy will be like f1 v1 and another copy i'll make f1 v2 like this i will make a copy so now what happens is person 1 so here also abc data is abc and this is also abc so there are no changes made now person 1 is going to take the access of copy file he will be working on it at the same time person 2 also can work on it because this is a copy file so person 2 also will get the access to this particular one original is already there as it is so now they are able to parallelly work on the same file without waiting for each other person 1 person 2 they cannot they don't need to wait for each other so for person 1 to make his changes if it takes 1 hour and for person 2 if it takes 1 hour but overall for both of them to make their respective changes it will take only 1 hour time so now after so let's say for example person 1 has made some changes he has added 1 2 3 into this file and person 2 has made some changes he has added 4 5 6 into this file now both of them have done their changes without waiting for each other after these changes are done this particular file should be merged should be merged merged into the original file after this is been merged what will happen this original file will have 1 2 3 4 so this is gone now person 2 is going to get his file merged so when he is merging 4 5 6 will come so for merging process if it takes 15 minutes overall they both of them have finished their development in 1 hour 15 minutes previously when they are waiting it was taking 2 hours time so this is this process of merging one file into another file we are calling technically as retrofit what are we calling retrofit see this is in case of files i told you as an example to better understand but in reality this files contains code in case of pega these files are going to contain these files are nothing but rules so there can be a parallel development process using that they can develop they are going to merge it so code merge process is called as retrofit process it is called as retrofit so this is what about the understanding of retrofit so i hope you are clear about what is staging and what is code retrofit code retrofit means 
you are going to merge the code that you have implemented with the original code file that is called as retrofit. This retrofit will be done after the retrofit is been done again testing will be done. So in case of test process any defects and all I already told that procedure and all. And now let us consider everything is been done code retrofit is done and even testing is also done everything is successfully completed. Now you see here release management what do you see this release management and implementation plan. So now the code that you have implemented has to be moved into production. See live servers code will not be moved so simply. See implementation plan is an excel document which contains the information about what is the build number that you are trying to deploy. Previously I have done deployment two times okay previously I have done deployments two times. I will have to tell you deployments also. Deployment means installation of code. Okay. So deployment means installation of code. The code which you have developed, you are going to move all this code taking from staging area, you install it into target server. So that is a develop, uh, production server, let's say. So that is called as deployment process. Deployment means the build file, whatever that you have created. Okay. Zip file, which I have told about uh, in, the, in the in case of staging that will be installed on to target server. So to install this on target server, there is certain process to be followed that will be followed by release management team. There is a separate team, release management team or DevOps team or build engineers team. We can call anything and implementation plan. They have to follow certain steps. What is the build number? So what are the files that are moving? Who is the developer? Who is the tester? And who is test manager? Who is project manager? What is the backout plan importantly, which means that when this deployment is been done, if there is any failure in the deployment, we should be able to back up everything and place the original one. This backup plan, everything is going to be mentioned in the implementation plan document. Once this implementation plan is been approved, then deployment is going to be done. Deployment means this particular zip file will be installed on the target server. Once deployment is done, then your project will be live. In the live server, once it is done, it is live and business users can access your application. Okay. I hope everyone clear about staging, code retrofit, release management team, implementation plan and deployments. And next I am going to tell you about developer job versus production support job. So many of the resources, they don't know about what is production support. Everyone from the college level also, you know about developer job. And developer job means suppose if you are learning Java, if you are going to work as a Java developer, you might be writing the code from code in the Java. Apart from development, development is said to be forward engineering. It is said to be forward engineering means you are going to develop the things from beginning to ending. And now production support job means see the business application that is there in live server. Okay. So live server, the business application that is running, Amazon application is presently running, right? That is a live application. This live application, there might be some issues sometimes. Sometimes you might be seeing some issues in the Amazon live application. Maybe when you are trying to make the payment, payment failure is going to happen. You will call customer care and inform them payment is failing. I am not able to make it. That is one issue that is being caused in the application. So now what is the process that Amazon customer care people are going to follow? They will take one request by using some application and the request will be forwarded to developers in the, uh, I mean like some of the technical teams who are responsible for working on Amazon application. Now there will be a tool in order to raise this request. There will be a tool that is going to be used for almost all companies. Same tool will be used. The tool is called as service now tool. What is the tool name? Service now tool in the service now tool. They the customer care people are going to use this service now tool and they will raise a request. There will be a request number for the request. They will write the details about the request. They will assign to some technical teams. Technical team also will have access to the service now tool. Then technical team are going to do what? Technical team are going to open this particular incident and see who to whom it has been assigned. What is the priority? Is it urgently have to be done or maybe less priority is there? And they also access the respective details from this particular tool. What are the details about the issue? Here it might be written the details about. So they when they read the details, they will come to know. Okay, payment related issues are there in the application. And now the issue that is being reported through this particular tool has to be identified. So now this particular people, uh, the production support guys are going to work on reverse engineering. 
means they will reverse the application um, uh, development process means they have to come from the back they will be using some of the tools in order to find out what is the root cause of the issue and the mainly what are they going to use and one more thing i have to tell you tickets right ticket means this is what called as a ticket so ticket one ticket two ticket ticket one ticket two so every request that is going to be raised in service now tool is considered to be a ticket okay so here the ticket will be raised ticket will be raised so in a production support job a production support person whoever is going to work on as a production support engineer he will be receiving tickets means issues raised by raised by customer care people by using a tool called service now tool when they open the ticket they will be able to understand to whom it has been assigned what are the details of the issue what is the priority of this particular issue based on the priority they will start working on it so they have to start working on the finding the root cause of the issue and fix is later first we need to find out the root cause the first place what they verify is log files what is that the first place what they verify is called log files i will show you how a log file looks like so they they will be verifying the log files see this is how the details in a log file looks like see in the log file when they open they will be given access to they might be able to find out some information in the log file related to the errors so this will this is purely technical means only those people who are working on the respective application they will have certain details about understanding this error messages and all so just i wanted to give you information a log file information may look like this and when they open the log file they will find some information related to what is causing the issue based on understanding this issue they are going to proceed to troubleshoot and fix the issue and once they fix the issue in the development and they are going to move it to qa uat live everything again same thing but once after they find some issue they are going to try to reproduce this particular issue whether the same is happening in uat or not if it is happening in uat they will try to reproduce the same issue in qa as well as development so when the issue is being reproducible in the lower environments then they are going to fix the issue find find out the fix for the issue fix the issue and move it to the qa uat and live servers so this is called this is about log files so log files will be mainly accessed by production support team so the job of production support is always to work on support tickets when there is any issue in the live server that issue will be reported to customer care people customer care people are going to use a tool called service now tool and they will create a request that request is called as ticket the ticket will be assigned to production support team they will be working on the ticket the first place that they verify is log files and after they find the issue in the log files they are going to try to reproduce the issue in lower lower environments uat qa development once they are able to reproduce the issue they are going to find out the fix for the issue once they find the root cause and fix the issue that will be moved from development to qa qa to uat and uat to live servers so this is how it is going to function so i hope all of you guys like our videos and the content that we are providing if you are really interested about this and if you are really finding it useful for you for your career please don't forget to subscribe our channel please recommend your friends also to watch this 33 technical terms that we come across in your uh, enterprise application uh, environment when you are working in the real time projects so this is really going to help you many of you in order to understand so many technical terms that we come across in our regular day to day life working as a software developer or a production support engineer so hope you guys like this video if you have any technical questions or if you have any career guidance related questions you can contact us anytime you can call us on the number that is being displayed in this particular uh, video and you can post your question in the comment section of this video as well okay so myself harsha signing off thank you for watching